This video is a little bit different from most of the other videos in this course in that there isn't a partially completed code file for you to download and work on. And there also isn't a particular set of instructions that I'm going to give you to solve this on your own. Instead, I would like you to code along with me. So you should have MATLAB opened and the video and follow along with me. Okay, so normally you have like a, a regular script in the editor here, and here's your command window. And normally, you know, you just you type in code in in here, like this, and and so on. However, what we are going to do now is create a live script. So we're going to do this together. So what we want to do is go to home and new, but we don't want a new script. We want a new live script. So we click on this button here, and you can already see that the formatting is quite different. So the colors are different. Looks like there's two panes over here. I'll talk more about this in a moment. And uh, yeah, all the typing seems to be happening in this gray box, this shaded box over here. So let's start by typing a description of what this is going to be. Well, this is going to be a brief introduction to live scripts. Now, when I just write it out like this, MATLAB is actually interpreting this as code. And in fact, if I try to run this code by pressing Control Enter on the keyboard, we get an error message. So you see an error message here. And it says unrecognized function variable A. Of course, we haven't defined A yet. Also notice that the error doesn't print on the command window. It prints over here to the right. Okay, but I don't want this to be code. Actually, I want this to be text. Now, you know, we could make this a comment, but this is also not what I want. I want this to be a nicely formatted text. So I'm going to select all of this and go to live editor, this live editor menu bar up here, and then press text. And then so now you can see it no longer looks like code. I'm going to select it again, back to live editor. And up here, there's the font style settings, and I'm going to make this the title. So now this looks really nice. We have a big orange text that says a brief introduction to live scripts. So now let's say I want to actually create a variable. So let's write variable equals four. Now I can try running this code. However, MATLAB doesn't, it isn't interpreting this as code. We want to tell MATLAB that this is actually a piece of code. So select it again and go back to live editor. And then I click on code over here. Now this has been converted into a piece of code. So I can run this and I get the output variable equals four. Of course, uh, or, or as I noted before, this is not appearing in the command window. It's appearing over here on the right. Now I'd like to add a little bit more text down here. I'm going to say insert and text, and then I can write some more text. Let's do create and visualize a simple function. So what we're going to do is create a function. It's going to be a function for a parabola. And I want this function to appear in nicely formatted LaTeX coding. So I'm going to start the line with a dollar sign that indicates to MATLAB that we want to use LaTeX formatting. So let's write out our mathematical function. We'll do f of x equals x squared plus z. Now, the way it's formatted now, this is not beautiful LaTeX mathematical formula. This is just uh, some text, and I use the caret symbol here. But notice what happens when I type another uh, dollar sign at the end of this line. All of a sudden, MATLAB converted this into nicely formatted LaTeX coding, including, you know, with the two and the superscript up here. Now we can actually edit this equation by double clicking on the equation. And you see that opens up this uh, equation editor box. So here we can write in our LaTeX code. And this is what it would look like. So, you know, for example, we can turn this into a fraction, maybe x squared plus one is the numerator and the denominator is, I don't know, minus five minus uh, the square root of x. <laughs> you know, it's not, I, it's not really a sensible uh, formula per se, I'm just, I'm just writing stuff just to give you an idea of how to use this little tool. Okay, so let's get back to our parabola here. Okay, so I click OK. And another nice thing that you can do with live scripts, in addition to having nicely formatted formulas, you can also have images in here and you can have hyperlinks. So I'm going to add some more text that says, uh, if you want 
to learn more about parabolas, follow this link. Okay, and then I'm going to highlight this word, this link, or these words here, and go up here to insert, insert a hyperlink, and the target URL is the Wikipedia page for a parabola. So now I click OK, you can see this is blue and it, it, we have this underline uh, under here. And if I click on this, it's going to open up in my browser over here. We get a page on the Wikipedia page on the parabola. So that's a pretty neat feature of live scripts. All right, so now let's actually get started with the coding. So now I want to insert another cell for writing code that looks like this. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut of Alt Enter. So Alt Enter, and that gives me a new line here, which is a code line. Notice also the numbering here to the left. This is line one and line two. Even though we've written more lines of text here, these don't count as lines of code. All right, so basically, you know, we're just going to uh, implement this formula here. So I'll define x to be minus 3 in steps of 0.01 to plus 3. And I'll set z to be equal to 2. And then we define our function. That's going to be y equals x squared plus, plus z, uh, z like this. OK, and then we are going to plot. So now I want to plot the function. So I'll just write plot x comma y, and we'll make this squares with lines in between them. So now we press control enter to run all the code in this cell. And here you see the plot is over here to the right. So it doesn't open up in a separate figure window. MATLAB puts this figure over to the right. And actually, this is a little bit too densely sampled. Maybe I'll go for steps of 0.1. Now, it turns out that the output of all the code that you're writing does not necessarily need to go in a separate panel in the right. That's controlled by these options up here. You can see these three, it looks like uh, pages on the top right here. So this is the output on the right. That's what we currently have selected. Here is the output inline. And now you can see that the output is below each cell of code. So here's the code where I create the plot, and here's the plot directly underneath. And the other option is to hide all of the code. So now you actually don't see this looks like code, but this is in fact uh, not the line of code. This is the output of the line of code. Here we see the plot, but uh, the code is missing. No, it's not missing, of course, it's just hidden. So as you prefer, you know, you can have the code uh, or the output on the right or um, underneath. I usually prefer the output to be underneath. Now I'd like to introduce you to one of the amazing tools that makes the MATLAB Live Editor interactive. So I'm going to press Alt-Enter again to give me a new cell of code down here. And now I'm going to click on Live Editor, uh, sorry, Insert, Control, and Numeric Slider. So this gives me options for the slider, and I want it to go from, let's say, minus 2 to plus 5. And the steps are going to be in increments of one. OK, so now we get this slider here. Now, so far, this isn't anything terribly interesting. However, what we can do is set a variable to be equal to this slider. So I'm going to write z equals. Now, I didn't actually write this number two here. I just said z equals the slider. And now as I'm changing the slider with the mouse, the value of z is changing. So now z is 0. Now z is 5. OK, so now we can recreate this function. So y equals x squared plus z. And then I'm going to replot the function. Let's say y, uh, or plot y comma, uh, x comma y, and make this squares with lines. And I'm also going to set the, uh, let's see, I'll set the x-axis limit to be the beginning and end of x, and I'll set the y-axis limit to be uh, basically the, the range that we have here. So minus 2. Actually, let's have this go up to, uh, let's try 10. Let's see how that looks. OK, so now I can run the code in this cell by pressing Control enter And so I'll, I'll scroll out a little bit. I hope the font isn't too small, but I mostly just want to show you what happens as I'm moving this slide around. So without having to manually rerun all the code, in this cell, all I have to do is click and drag on this slider. And every time the slider moves, then Z automatically updates. And when Z automatically updates, the rest of this cell updates. So now I can 
uh, change the picture by changing the value of this function. Now I'd like to go back here and show you what happens when we click on this third visualization option here to hide the code. So the code is hidden, right, as I just showed you. And the code here is hidden as well, but the slider bar is still visible. So I can still change the value of Z with the slider bar, and that changes the plot in real time. All right, so let's get back to having the plot with the output be inline. There's two more things I want to show you in this video. One is documentation, this little window, this little search bar up here on the top right for documentation. I'm going to type live scripts examples, click here. That opens up the little MATLAB browser. And yeah, you can see there's lots of options we can explore. I'm just going to click on this first one, live scripts and functions. And uh, let's see, of course, you could read more about live scripts and so on. And here are the featured examples. So let's just pick one. I'll pick this one and open live script. And what this allows you to do is explore existing live scripts. Here you see some text boxes for user input. We're actually going to set up something like this uh, in the next few videos. And yeah, you can see, I think this one has a picture in here and more equations and all sorts of fun stuff to explore. The last thing I want to show you in this video is um, exporting these live scripts. So we can save this as a live script, which is fine. This is uh, MLX format. So this is just uh, something that we would save and you know you could share it with other people. It would look exactly like this, but there are also other options. So we can save as a PDF. We can export this as a PDF and that looks like this. So here you see this as a PDF. And this is something that, you know, if you're doing an assignment, for example, you could export your uh, MATLAB live script as a PDF and turn this in. The last thing I want to show you is exporting this live script as a tech file. So we can export to LaTeX. And we already used LaTeX coding here to, to format the math equation up here. And now we can actually export this entire page as a LaTeX document. So that looks like this. If you are familiar with LaTeX coding, you will already recognize that, uh, yeah, we have a document class and packages that we're importing and the text and equations and uh, formatted code. And it also comes with its own style files as STY file that MATLAB has generated for us to make sure that uh, when we compile this tech file into a PDF that is going to look like what we see here. So I hope you enjoyed this brief introduction to MATLAB live scripts. And in the rest of the videos in this module, we are going to be using the live scripts to develop our computational model of a neuron.